We're here on the campus of Michael Reese Medical Center, a dead hospital. When I applied for the staff here in 1952, it was very hard to get on. So popular was this place as a place for doctors to work and take care of patients. At that time, it was arguably the best hospital in Chicago for research, teaching, and health care. And it continued to prosper through the 50s, 60s, 70s. In 1980, the corporate takeover of the American health system was in full flower, and the board of trustees of this institution, despite the fact that they had a quarter of a billion dollars, $250 million in reserve, chose to sell off to Humana as a way of avoiding the threat of competition from the private sector. There have been six different, six different corporate owners in the succeeding years, each of whom took their profit and ran and reduced the services of this hospital. Right now, the emergency care right behind me is closed. The hospital has no activity in it. It's a huge loss to the city, and it's a metaphor for what corporate medicine does to a health system seeking profit over patient service. It's a catastrophe by any standard, and I, I give testimony and a warning that the rest of the health system doesn't go under from the same sort of greed. To address these problems which were scourging the health system in Chicago and vicinity, I called together a number of friends in the health policy and advocacy field to start a new kind of organization. Health and Medicine Policy Research Group is the product of that, now 28 years old. This organization has many achievements addressing special problems of the poor and underserved. It's become an honest broker in dealing with health problems and achieving their, their resolution. And the people in the group work and work hard. And I'm very proud of this achievement because it's made a difference, made a difference in this city.